you're here for a comprehensive travel guide on the best places to visit, then look no further because we have everything right here. The destination for today is Singapore. First up, we have Shanghai Singapore Airport, universally known as the world's best airport. This is an overwhelming focal point for Singapore and is an unforgettable tourist attraction in its own right. It's Singapore's main airport boasting of activities, shopping, dining to entertainment. It's a globally renowned as a city in a garden, but home to green spaces and gardens from travellers looking to unwind after a long flight. However, do take into account that from each gate is a 10 to 15 minutes walk. Next up, we have the Night Safari home to many animals and is one of Singapore's top attractions. You can explore from an open tram or on a guided trail walk. So you can skip a daytime visit to the Singapore Zoo and see how the animals come alive on this night safari. One moment we're looking for animals in the dark and the next we're spotting them near the tram. For all the nature lovers, this place is for you. Granite Island is known for its nature and its history. It's a 15 minutes bomb boat ride from Chiang Kai Ferry Terminal. It is known for its habitats and its variety of wildlife. Number 13 on the TripAdvisor listing of where to go is the Asian Civilization and Maritime Museum, where you can explore the seas and go explore the world. Here you can be transported through time in 15 thematic galleries and journey through time. The Maritime Museum can be located in the Sentosa Island, so whilst you're there, don't forget to go and have a look. If you're someone who likes to explore time and history, then this is the place for you to go. And don't forget to check out the aquarium. Number 12 is Clark Key. This is a historical riverside key in Singapore, located within the Singapore River of Panion area. The key is situated upstream from the mouth of the Singapore and Boats Key. However, this place comes alive at the night time. This is mainly known for its nighttime attractions where you can eat, drink, or party. There are bars and clubs available, but for those who love to party, this is the place for you with live music and a lively atmosphere. Next up, we have the nation's first and only cableway, the Singapore Cable Car. More than a mode of transport, linking local residents and overseas travellers from the top of Mount Faber Park to Sentosa Island. It is a joyride on the cable car, offering a 360-degree aerial of the entire Sentosa Harbour front sky. The opening hour starts around 8.45am to 10pm daily. Admissions are usually $29 for adults and $18 for children. 
Now, no visit to Sentosa is complete without meeting its most famous 37-meter tall resident, the Sentosa Merlion. The legendary Merlion is a mythical creature with a lion's head and a fish's body. As a guardian of prosperity, which personifies Singapore's history as an important seaport. Set foot in the Merlion's mouth to get up close and personal with the legend, but don't stop to get to the crown. Number 9 is Universal Studios. This is Singapore's only movie theme park featuring 24 rides and attractions. This includes a pair of dueling coasters that brush past one another in several near misses in their aerial combat. This is ideal for thrill seekers and even families that come with their kids. You can also check out the Adventure Cove Water Park, which is also located in the resort's world, Sentosa. And look what we have next, Sentosa Island. The state of fun, the beloved island resort, best known for its tropical beaches, luxurious restaurants and exciting sights. Here you can visit the Universal Studios Singapore and the SEA Aquarium, which opens from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. The SEA Aquarium is home to many marine animals, over 1,000 species across into 50 different habitats, each one as fascinating as the next. It's an experience you definitely won't forget. Number 7 is Chinatown. For a fascinating peek in Singapore's Chinese culture and history, Chinatown is a good place to start. Here, you will enjoy a mix of heritage visits to museums, shopping as well as a good variety of food options sure to leave a traveler happy and satisfied at the end of the day a visit to chinatown when in singapore is a must it is known to be more of a down-to-earth neighborhood of the city away from the glitz and away from all the fancy hotels and shopping malls it is more organic a rural urban neighborhood and thus more fun to explore it has many stores and food outlets and the stores are cheaper so it is definitely worth a visit. Next is the 165 meters tall Singapore Flyer. It is a masterpiece of urban architecture and engineering that showcases not only the mesmerizing cosmopolitan cityscape of the tropical lion city but even the surrounding islands of indonesia and parts of malaysia in all their glory not only should you check out the singapore flyer during the daytime but the nighttime views is something of beauty spanning almost 2.2 kilometers is the orchid road it is a swanky tree-lined one-way boulevard flanked by distinctive shopping malls and hotels. The shopping block comprises nearly 800,000 square meters of shops and restaurants and promises to please any taste or budget with its iconic malls, which boast the full works. From opulent brands to high street fashion and from exclusive restaurants to fast food joints. It is a great street to shop, dine, stay, play, work and live. Number four is the Singapore Zoo. This is the best place for wildlife and nature enthusiasts. You will be surprised by the animal-centric activities available in ultra-modern Singapore city. You can take a day tour, which can be booked online. And this easy day tour combines a visit to the Singapore Zoo and a river safari experience. At the well-designed zoo, admire the elephants, the monkeys, and many more living in natural-like habitats. 
Number three is one of Singapore's most popular attractions, Botanic Gardens. This is a place where the waterfront gardens are located, comprising of Bay South, Bay East and Bay Central, including the Cloud Forest and Flower Dome. And you can spend as long as you like exploring. So go check it out and make sure to get some tickets online to discover this beautiful place. Next up is Gardens by the Bay. This is an integral part of Singapore's city in a garden vision. It spans a total of 101 hectares of palm land at the heart of Singapore's new downtown Marina Bay. And standing tall as number one is Marina Bay Sands. This place offers a breathtaking waterfront view spanning over 101 hectares of reclaimed land. As dust falls, the Marina Bay skyline emerges and the iconic tree-like vertical gardens, super tree grove, designed with large canopies that provide shade in the day, come alive with a display of light and sound at night. Be amazed with a bird's eye view of the city from the top of Marina Bay Sand Sky Park. It is like a roof like no other, perched 200 meters in the air with observation deck in the clouds. Descend to the promenade and catch another synchronized light and music show. You can end the night with a ride on a bomb boat or a traditional cargo ferrying craft for a cruise along the Singapore River. Fast food outlets are available at Gardens by the Bay, but we recommend you have an early dinner. Number 